this interesting. Instead of using a ferro cell, I'm using a thousand dollar monster magnet. It's as large as my hand. Now, what I'm doing is I'm placing my body perfectly perpendicular over the magnet. It doesn't matter how I shift my body. We have a centripetal point here that is cooler than the surrounding centrifugal. So I'm actually able to show you the difference between the centrifugal and centripetal part of this gigantic monster magnet that's very dangerous, by the way, simply by thermal reflectivity. You can, you can see that it's cooler here than it is along the centrifugal. You also see it shift in shape. Now, even if I place my entire hand on here and place even heating and then let go, you see, while it warms the entire magnet up, the central part of the centripetal uh, convergence right here is unchanged. So I'm actually using the thermal reflectivity like a mirror on the plating on this magnet from my body. But unlike a mirror which would reflect the image evenly, because there is a centrifugal vortex here and a centripetal vortex here, the drain here basically, and the spout here, I am seeing two totally different thermal signatures and uh, no one has ever seen this before and I know there's certainly not another video like it on YouTube so you saw it here first folks you're actually seeing the effect of thermal reflectivity in differentiation between centrifugal divergence and centripetal convergence thanks for watching Bye.